Welcome to part two of Freddy the Fox. We're gonna start off by making a magic ring. So you're gonna take the white yarn in your hand and you're gonna wrap it around your top three fingers like this. It creates an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side. Take your hook and go under the first loop, over the second loop, bringing the second loop under the first loop. Twist your hook like this and then grab the yarn with your hook and pull it through. Don't worry, I'll show you that again in slow motion. You're going to take the yarn and bring it over your top three fingers, making an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side. Then take your hook, go under the first loop, over the second loop, bringing that second loop under the first loop. And then twist your hook like this and grab the yarn like so and then pull through that loop on your hook. And there you have the magic ring. If you still need assistance, I do have a separate tutorial link down below as well. Now that we have the magic ring, we're going to place six single crochets in the magic ring. So you're just going to single crochet like normal. Just make sure you are single crocheting over top both the tail and the ring. So you should be single crocheting over top two pieces of yarn like this. If you're not, you're not going to be able to close the magic ring in a second. So now that we have our six single crochets, we are going to pull the magic ring shut. And now we have the magic circle that we started with at the beginning of our tutorial. So we are going to make one single crochet in the next available stitch. And then we are going to mark that stitch. We are making the muzzle right now and the second round here is the last round so we're almost finished. In the next available stitch we are going to make an increase. And then in the next stitch we are placing one single crochet. And then place an increase in the next single crochet, increase. And this took us from six stitches up to nine. So that is it for the muzzle. We are going to fasten off now. Leave a long tail for sewing and then trim your yarn. I like to leave about a foot or so, maybe a little longer. And then you just pull the yarn through like this. And don't forget to weave in this tail end. So every time we make a piece of amigurumi, we're going to weave in that initial tail that we made just so that it doesn't come unraveled. I'm going to trim the tail piece down in the middle just so that it makes it easier to sew the muzzle on later in the project. Just make sure that you're not trimming the piece that we're going to use to sew it on. Next we're going to make the ears. So we're going to start off with the black yarn and we're going to make another magic ring. If you need another tutorial on doing this again, just rewatch the beginning of the video. Or you can watch the tutorial that's linked down below. But we're going to start off by making a magic ring in black and then we are going to place four single crochets in the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to close the magic ring. This next little bit is a little bit tricky because we are going to be changing from black to orange. So going from the last stitch that we did, we are just going to tug this yarn just a little bit so that there's two loops left. This is also what we would have if we only did half a single crochet for the last single crochet that we did in the magic ring. Now we are going to take the orange yarn and pull through these two black loops. Now we have two tail pieces left of the color change. So we have an orange and a black piece here. These tails are not connected to the working yarn and we are going to tie them in a knot so that they don't come unraveled 
Just make sure you don't pull very tight when you tie them together because it will make the stitches kind of fall in on each other and it'll be really hard to crochet into them. So just do a fairly tight knot, but not too tight. And then you're going to continue on with the orange. So in the very first single crochet of the round, you're going to make a single crochet like so, and then we are going to mark this stitch. Next, we are going to increase in the next available stitch. And then single crochet. And then increase in the last stitch. It can be kind of tricky to do this part of the ear because the magic ring started off really small with only four single crochets. So just go slow and work as best you can. And now we can trim off that black piece of yarn. And if you want, you can go back and double knot those two tail ends together if you want it to be more secure. Now for round three, we are going to remove our stitch marker and make a single crochet in the first available stitch, then mark that stitch. In the next stitch, we are doing another single crochet. And in the next stitch, we are doing an increase. Single crochet, single crochet, and increase. And that took us from six stitches up to eight. Next, you can remove your stitch marker. And in round four, we are just doing eight single crochets around. So one single crochet in each stitch. Don't forget to mark the beginning stitch. And then continue single crocheting around until you reach the stitch marker. For round five, we're doing the exact same thing. So remove your stitch marker, place your first single crochet of the round, mark that stitch, and then you're going to make one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of eight stitches. This is the last round of the ear, so now we can fasten off. Remove your stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And then leave a long tail for sewing and trim the orange yarn. Don't forget to turn the ear inside out and weave in your ends. You're gonna make two of these ears and we will sew them on later. Next, we are going to make the tail, so we're going to do a magic ring in white. Again, if you need a refresher on the magic ring, you can rewatch the beginning of the video. And we are going to place six single crochets in this magic ring. So that's four, five, and six. And then pull the magic ring shut. Now you can insert your hook and we're going to make one single crochet in the first available stitch. And then mark this stitch. In the next stitch, we are making an increase.
then single crochet and increase. Single crochet and increase. On the second single crochet of the increase, we are going to stop halfway through. So stop here with two loops on your hook and we are going to change the color to orange. You can trim your white yarn now if you'd like. And then grab the orange yarn and we are going to thread it through with our hook. Like so. And now we are going to continue on in orange. I'm gonna tie the tail pieces together after I make the first single crochet of the round. And that way it's just a little bit easier to tie it together without having to worry about the stitches getting too tight. So make your first single crochet of the round here and make sure you're doing it in orange and then mark that stitch. And now I'm going to tie the two pieces together. I gave those tails a trim and I already weaved in my end of the magic ring because this tail is going to get really skinny so I don't want to have to fiddle with it all later. And now we're going to make another single crochet and then we are going to make an increase. Single crochet, single crochet, then increase. single crochet, single crochet, and increase. And that took us from nine stitches up to 12. In the next round, we are doing one single crochet in each stitch around. So remove your stitch marker and make your first stitch of the round. Then mark that stitch. So we're just single crocheting in each stitch around until we get back to the stitch marker. For round five, we are going to remove the stitch marker and place one single crochet in the first available stitch. And then mark that stitch. This round we will be decreasing a little bit. So single crochet in the next stitch as well. And then make a decrease. Then single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. So now we have nine stitches in our tail. So you can remove your stitch marker and make your first stitch of the next round. For round six, we are just making a single crochet in each stitch around. Now you can mark that first stitch that we did and then carry on single crocheting. Round seven and eight are the exact same as round six, so just one single crochet in each stitch around. Don't forget to mark the beginning stitch of each round. 
You should have nine stitches at the end of rounds seven and eight. I'm going to stuff the very tip of my tail. Definitely don't stuff the whole thing. Just put a tiny bit of stuffing right at the end. You wanna make sure you're shaping out the end of the tail with your fingers. Next we are going to fold the tail in half and single crochet across both sides so that it closes the tail and makes it a bit easier to sew it onto the fox later on. So here you can see I'm folding the tail in half and we're single crocheting across both sides. So insert your hook and go through both sides of the tail here. So single crocheting, like normal, just putting your hook through both sides of the tail. And it takes me about four stitches to get across, but don't worry too much about how many it takes you. Just make sure that the tail is fully closed. And now you can leave a long tail for sewing and then pull your yarn through and fasten off. Now we're gonna sew all the pieces onto the fox. So we're gonna start off with the muzzle. Thread your yarn needle. And if you've never sewn anything before, don't worry, this is super simple. All you have to do is place the muzzle onto the face where you want it. Make sure it's got a nice round shape. I like to place it in between the eyes like this. Then you're going to poke your needle into one stitch of the body and then one stitch of the muzzle. Just make sure you're really holding onto the muzzle so that it's not going anywhere as you're sewing. And just continue working in each stitch of the muzzle. Pulling tight after each thread as well. And just make sure that the muzzle is staying symmetrical as you're sewing it on. About three quarters of the way of sewing, I'm gonna pause and just stuff it a little bit with polyfill. Then you can continue sewing the muzzle on. So it should look something like this. Just make sure there's no big holes in the muzzle and if there is you can always sew another stitch down. And that's all there is to it. So now you can trim this piece of white yarn and we'll move on to the ears. Now that you have your two ears done, we are going to sew each one of them on. We're gonna sew them on directly behind each of the eyes. And they should be directly in the middle of the head like this. And we're doing the exact same thing, so poking your needle in one stitch of the body and then up through a stitch of the ear. just going all the way around the ear.
Now that you're happy with how your ear looks, you can do the exact same thing with the other side. Next, we're going to take the tail and thread our needle onto it. And we're going to sew it about two rounds up from the bottom. Just make sure you're happy with the placement. It doesn't matter exactly where you sew it onto. I just do it a few rounds up from the bottom like this. Next we are going to make our nose, so just take your black yarn and thread a piece on like this. I like to do two pieces at a time. So we're just going to poke our needle into the middle of the muzzle here, into two stitches. Just make sure they're symmetrical with the eyes. And thread the yarn through, like so. And then poke your needle back through the exact same holes that you initially poked into. like this. And then I'm going to go over that line again, going in the exact same holes. You can leave the nose like this or you can make a line down the middle to make a mouth. Now I'm taking the needle going back down into the middle of the muzzle like this at an angle. And then I'm going to turn my yarn needle up and go up to sew a line straight up the middle of the muzzle. And that creates a little mouth for our fox. So just adjust it how you like and then we're going to trim our yarn ends. That's it for the Freddy the Fox tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.